Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Space. Today in this video session, we will discuss about how to compress and uh, resize an image in ASP.NET Core with their aspect ratio. So let's start. We open our Visual Studio, and here uh, we creating a uh, one new project for uh, uh, resizing and compressing an image. So here I am choosing ASP.NET Core web application. And after that, uh, I'm choosing a MVC pattern. Like a here, uh, we're writing this like a image, image compress, and click on OK. Now, uh, this is a pop up for choosing a template, and for demo, here I'm uh, using a MVC pattern so this is the web application model view controller and then click on ok now this uh, creating a project for uh, sp not core dot applications so now project is created so first of all uh, we need to add a uh, New get package manager for uh, uh, using a image sort for uh, compressing an image. So I am opening this uh, package manager console for uh, run this new get uh, command. This is a uh, six levels image sort uh, new get uh, with the help of this uh, new get package image sort we compress and resize the image. So simply run this and press enter now uh, this uh, downloading and install a new get package for uh, image sorp now project is uh, created uh, we are going to this uh, home controller dot cs and here uh, i am adding a uh, one more method for uh, uh, for calculating their aspect ratio so getting here it's a public public string then is the image resize and mm, this will take a uh, uh, parameters like a uh, image object is a image uh, here creating a uh, uh, object for this image class you need to add a namespace for this image uh, this using uh, this uh, using six labels dot uh, image sort. So I am adding this uh, this MSR libraries for using this image image class. Uh, now it's a int, it's a max width, and another is a maximum height. Uh, in which we res uh, in which expect ratio uh, we resize the image like a uh, 600 uh, 600 height 600 width then image will resize under uh, this height and width this uh, height mm, if if img dot uh, width is uh, greater than greater than max uh, width or img dot height is uh, greater than max height then uh, like a double width ratio Uh, then we type cost it is a double img dot uh, width divided by it's a double max width and then double uh, it's a height ratio it's equal to 
double it's a double uh, amz dot uh, height if I double uh, it's a max height now uh, it's a ratio it's a double in ratio is equal to uh, math using a math dot uh, max uh, width ratio and it's height ratio then int uh, new width we calculating a new width is equal to int IMG dot width IMG dot uh, uh, width uh, divided by its uh, ratio in its uh, int uh, new height new height is equal to um, its integer Int uh, then it's img dot uh, height slash ratio and then uh, we return this height uh, return new height uh, dot to string and then we concatenate uh, these two height and width by uh, comma plus uh, new uh, height uh, new uh, new width yet uh, it's this uh, width dot uh, to string and uh, if this uh, max uh, this width is greater than their max height uh, then we simply return this string it's there max width and uh, img dot width means we return their original uh, width and height it's a height and this img dot width now i am creating a one post method uh, where we uh, store the um, image in a upload folder so i am creating this index method for a post it's like a http post and then uh, we receive a file uh, from uh, i from file I from file uh, from uploaded to this index view so I am writing here it's uh, I from from uh, file it's a form file uh, we need to add a namespace for this it's a uh, I form file and then it's a uh, object name and then it's a string saving path is uh, already uh, we need to store this uh, uh, file inside our ww root uh, we create a one folder inside that our ww root uh, folder so i open a solution explorer and here uh, i'm adding a uh, one more uh, folder where we store the uploaded image I am right click on this and add a new folder like uh, I rename it as a uh, upload now you get a condition like if uh, file dot uh, length 
is greater than zero then uh, first of all it's a file name they declare this file name to here it's a file name equal to string dot input then it's a file name it's called to we rename this for a GUID for complete uh, between two same name files so I rename it as a GUID code and it's a path I need to add a namespace for this it's a using system.io dot get extension file dot file name then it's a path path is also declared here like a path path is equal to path dot uh, get full path full path and then it's a path uh, dot uh, combine dot combine uh, we get a current directory like a directory dot get a directory get a current directory and uh, here we providing our uploaded folder path like a uh, it's, uh, it's come under this uh, www root so i am writing here a www root in this is slash plus it's a uh, path our uh, path name is uh, this uh, upload this is the uh, folder path where we store an image and then we get uh, like a full path so path dot combine we combine this path and file name now uh, we resize image so i'm using this block using block for uh, garbage collections so where image is equal to image dot load this file dot open read stream and then it's a new size new size is equal to uh, image resize we call this uh, image resize function for uh, resize the image on the behalf of their uh, aspect ratio image resize here we providing a image object with width and height so i'm passing this it's a image and then it's a width like a 600 divided 600 means i resize this image in a 600 600 ratio and then it's a string size array is equal to new size dot split means because we concatenate this string by a comma and then it's image dot uh, muted dot muted think we need to add a 
name space for this it's a uh, six labels dot image dot processing and then it's x here is a lambda expressions x dot uh, resize uh, resize here uh, we uh, provide a height and width is contain a different different options like a uh, width and height so uh, first array will provide a height and uh, second string is a uh, width as according to this so i am here passing a so convert dot to in 32 Size array, size array one, one for the height, uh, one for the width, and zero position is for height. Now we provide a height. Convert dot to in thirty two. And then the size array comes on zero position. Image dot save. Now we save this image. Um, here it's a full path. This is the complete path with path and their file name. Yep. Uh, this image is saved now we go to our index method uh, where we create a one uh, form actions uh, by which a file will be uploaded so I'm I will remove all this this is the a pre code that will be created uh, after we choose mbc template so i'm choosing here it's a form and method method is as a post and then it's a sp controller here we write a controller name our controller name is home and then it's a sp action and action name is index now i am taking one uh, input uh, type as a file file we name it like is a file and we also test uh, nc type is a multi-part form data I'm taking one submit button it's a type is equal to submit value which is submit now this is completed uh, now I am, I am adding one more uh, time data for confirmation that uh, image is uploaded so I am adding here it's a uh, message uh, file uploaded uh, successfully now we uh, display this temp data here it's a uh, if if temp data is uh, not equal to null then we display this inside alert it's alert alert temp messy now we, are, we run this application so i'm pressing a control f5 now it's building a project it's a build succeeded 
by default uh, it, it's calling a home uh, controller and uh, index method so here uh, we upload a, a image from a user computer and then this resize the image on the behalf of their expect ratio so here our expect ratio is 600 by 600 so any image will be uh, converted into 600 by 600 so i'm taking any sample from image it's a sample it's sample image i'm choosing this it's 920 1920 and uh, 1200 pixels so this algorithm will compress it no, file uploaded successfully so we check inside the upload folder this image will be uploaded also check their expect ratio expect ratio is a 600 by 375 so this is the complete process for how to resize and uh, compress image in sp.net core so if you have any questions any problem please write in comment box i will reply you soon and if you like my videos please click on subscribe button and notification bell for uh, latest updates so th thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session